Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets review video. In this video, we have a home internet network range extender from TP-Link. What makes this unique is it transfers the internet through your house via the power lines in your house. So it'll extend your Wi-Fi using that system that's already built inside your house and it won't lose any bandwidth. It also allows you to plug directly into it, which would be great if you were doing something that requires more bandwidth, such as live streaming or playing video games online. All that for around $60 on Amazon, so check the link in the description to find that price. Let's go ahead and open it up and check it out. It comes in a nice cardboard box, and I like that because you can recycle it. So first thing on top is a quick installation guide, just some general information. Another quick installation guide, looks like a nice long ethernet cable. So this device is actually split into two different segments. You have this piece right here, the smaller piece, and this plugs into your home internet router. Pretty nice looking actually, it does need power. And then this connects into your home internet router right here. So you would use this ethernet cord and that's how it would supply the internet through your power lines. Then you have this piece right here that is more of a receiver. So this is gonna plug in the area where you need to have the internet. This will create the Wi-Fi signal and then you'll have two ethernet plugs on the bottom that you can hardwire things in such as your computer or gaming consoles, anything like that. So it's pretty simple and really cool. And then we have a second ethernet cable. It's really nice touch that they included two ethernet cables with this when you only really need one because this is what plugs into your router. So taking a closer look at the actual receiver of the internet right here, looks like we have a button on the front for pairing it. And then we have three LEDs, looks like one of them is for power. Nice TP-Link logo, this, this is a really nice looking device. I think this is gonna look good anywhere you put it in your home. And then you have some holes on the sides for heat displacement. On the bottom you have the ethernet cable and like I said, that will plug directly into your router. And then you have the two prong plug on the back that powers it. The receiver of the internet, as you can see, you do have another TP-Link logo on the front. Then you have some basic information on the top for the network that it creates. On the sides here, you have more slots for heat displacement in case it gets hot. And then on the bottom, you have a pair button, a reset button, and then two ethernet connectors. And like I said, these will be outputs of the internet, so you can plug these into your computer or gaming consoles to provide internet to those devices. And then you have a two prong power plug on the back, and this is what receives the internet right here. So now we've taken a closer look at the TB-Link AV600 Powerline range extender. Let's go ahead and get it hooked up and then see how it works. So based on the actual instructions, the first thing we need to do is plug these both in in the same room. If you only have one open wall outlet, it says to plug them both into a power strip, but the power strip is only temporary, that's for the setup. Once you're done with the setup, you need to put this directly in a wall outlet, and then once you are placing this in a different room, it has to be in a wall outlet as well, it cannot be in a power strip. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Once we plug this into the power strip, we're gonna plug the ethernet cable into the bottom of this device, and then the other end of the ethernet cable will go into the back of your router's LAN port. All right, so as you can see, I have both devices plugged into the same power strip here. This cable is plugged into the back of my router, and as you can see, it's getting power and also receiving internet and sending the internet. And then this is the AV600 right here, and as you can see, per the instructions, the Wi-Fi light is on. So once we have that on, we can start pairing it with this device right here. Now to pair the devices, we need to first hit the pairing button right here for one second, hold it down. All right, it's blinking. And then within two minutes, hit the pairing button is located on the bottom of the AV600. Hold that down for one second. All right, now we're seeing the blinking. Okay, and we're paired. And the way I know that is both power buttons top LED here, and then the top LED here are no longer blinking and they're both on. That means that they are paired. Now that we have it paired, all you need to do is move this to your dead spot and then connect to the Wi-Fi. There's a sticker on the top of it that has the Wi-Fi password and everything, so it's very easy to connect. I have did that in my dead spot and the internet speed was exactly what I get from my router, so very happy with that so far. Now let's do a quick speed test comparison so you can actually see that it is very similar to what my home network is. So my home network is Yolanda. I'm gonna go ahead and connect to that and we'll do a quick speed test. All right, so this is my internet speed on my home router. It's not really the best, but I'm in a rural area, so it's the best I can do. Now let's connect to the AV600, test out that speed. All right, so as you can see, very, very similar. So really no bandwidth loss through the Wi-Fi connection from the AV600 at all. If you had this connected hardwire through an ethernet cable, you would definitely have no bandwidth loss. So I'm very happy with this device. It seems to work very well, extremely easy to set up. The next step for me would be to go in, edit the AV600 and have it just replicate my Wi-Fi network. So I would name it Yolanda, give it the same password, 
all my devices in my dead spot would then automatically connect to it and act as if they were on my home network. So to do that, all we need to do is connect to the network created by the AV600 and then go to tplinkplc.net. I'll have that link in the description. Then we just put the password and username as admin admin and do ensure that those are both lowercase. So now that I'm logged in, all I need to do is go into the left sidebar right here, select wireless, and then go to settings. Now I can change the SSID right here to my home network, which would be Yolanda for me, with a capital Y. You want to make sure you have the same capitals. And then just enter the same exact password that you have for your home network. Once you're done with that, just go down and hit save. And then you'd be done. Your network is set up. It has the same Wi-Fi network name as your home network and the same password. So all of your devices should connect exactly the same way. All right, so that's how you set up the TP-Link AV600. I've been using it for about a week now and I've seen a drastic improvement in my Wi-Fi reception in the dead spot that was in my house. The Wi-Fi signal created by the AV600 is just as good as the Wi-Fi created by my home router. So I've noticed no loss in bandwidth with it. And really the coolest thing to me is I'm able to control Chromecast or Roku TVs from my AV600, even though those might be connected to my home router. So it's almost like the network is seamless there. It works great. I haven't had any issues with having to reset the AV600 or connection loss issues, anything like that. It's worked great and it's been very stable. As you saw in the video, the setup was extremely easy and it's only a few steps, really about 10 minutes and you'll be online. So nothing there that's a problem. In my opinion, the TP-Link AV600 using the power line technology rather than just a Wi-Fi extender is much better. You get higher quality internet out of it and it's really worth that about $30 more that you spend. Plus it's from a name brand TP-Link with a good two year warranty. So you know that it's gonna be secure. For me, I really trust TP-Link over a lot of the other brands that sell Wi-Fi extenders, especially on Amazon, because they can be names you've never heard of. One thing I also like about the AV600 is that you do have the two Ethernet ports in the bottom here, so you're going to get a little bit of faster speed than you would Wi-Fi, and that's great because that can really enable you to give high speeds to gaming consoles or computers, or security cameras, things like that, where you're going to really need that hardwired connection. You can take advantage of that with this device, and I love that you get two of them because that's pretty unique. Usually you just get one. So that was the TP-Link AV600 Powerline Wi-Fi Extender. If you have any questions about this device, leave a comment below, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you already have the TP-Link AV600, leave your experience below because it might help people with their buying decisions. I'm going to add an Amazon affiliate link to the description so you can find this exact device on Amazon. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Engaging Gadgets, more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.